Gamma ray bursts are the brightest, instantaneously most luminous explosions in the universe. We think they're produced when massive stars reach the end of their life and they collapse to form a black hole. And in the process, they blast material off that we think is focused by very strong magnetic fields. And when that beam of material that's traveling very close to the speed of light points towards the Earth, we see very bright flashes of gamma rays from them. But these flashes of gamma rays are literally gone in seconds, which is why they're called gamma ray bursts. We also know that these objects now lie at the very edges of the distant universe, so they're extreme in their own right, we're interested in them in terms of their extreme physics, strong magnetic fields, strong gravity, very um, fast acceleration of particles, um, but we also use them as probes of the early universe because they're the most distant objects that we know in the universe. They're very, very bright, and we also find light across the electromagnetic spectrum coming from them. So my team specialise in using ground-based optical telescopes, the world's la largest fully autonomous robotic telescopes, that take the signals from the gamma-ray satellites when they discover these bright flashes on the sky, and we look to see if we can find their optical counterparts. And we do this in real time, so my mobile phone will buzz in the middle of the night to tell me that a new black hole has been born, and that our telescopes have sprung into action to look for the optical light from these. The optical light is very important because we measure the polarization of that light and that gives us the direct probe of the magnetic fields that we think are responsible for accelerating and focusing the material that produces the very bright gamma ray flashes.